Welcome back, you guys. So how do you go from having it look like this to having it look like this? Before I walk you through the steps of how I got this end result, I wanna really quickly explain why you can't paint silicone. So silicone by its very nature is water repellent and 99% of paints that people use these days are water-based. So as soon as you paint onto it, the water beads up and kind of repels. I'm pretty sure oil-based products are even worse, so don't try those either. But the point is silicone being water repellent is unpaintable. And if you are even fortunate enough to actually get a coat of paint to lay down on it, the first time you go to wipe it, it's all gonna flake off because the silicone is very soft, rubbery, and flexible, whereas the paint has a different flexibility to it, so it just won't stick to it. So now I'm gonna walk you through the steps I took to get this nice finished result. So the first thing I did was I sanded the wall and I scraped as much of the paint off of the silicone as I could. Next, I vacuumed it up and then wiped it out with just a damp, wet cloth. No special solvents or anything, just a wet cloth. After that, I laid out green tape along the edge of the backsplash. On some parts, it was a little bit tricky to get the tape to stick because the silicone was spread onto the backsplash and the tape doesn't like to stick to that either. So you might have to scrape some of that out. You really wanna make sure that the edge of your tape is really well stuck, so press firmly there. There was a few spots where I couldn't get it to lay down and I just had to roll with it. As for caulking, I chose to use the Dynaflex 230. The Alex Plus would probably work pretty well, but my thoughts were when this stuff is left unpainted, it's a little more scrubbable than the Alex. The Alex tends to be more porous and absorbs more dirt and grime, whereas this stuff tends to be a little more cleanable. Depending on how thick your fill is, you might wanna leave this stuff for a couple days. I only had to leave it overnight, but if you do a deep fill and it shrinks and you've painted over it already, what will happen is the caulking will shrink, the paint won't shrink, and once again, you're gonna be left with a bunch of flaking, cracking paint. Now, when it came to wiping the caulking off, what I tried to do was make sure that I wiped as much off of the tape as possible and then smeared it up the wall so that I covered all the existing silicone on the wall. It's a pretty simple concept. All we're doing is just making sure that we're covering the unpaintable stuff with something paintable. The hardest part about doing this was making sure that I didn't leave a sort of finger width line all the way along the wall. So you gotta, as usual, feather your edge. But when I was done, I was left with what looked like a completely amateurish caulking job. Like if I walked in and saw somebody's caulking job look like that, I would think they did a terrible job. But in this application, we actually need to spread it all up the wall. So after that dried overnight, I then painted a few coats of paint on it. Because I was covering a deep red color with a much lighter color, I had to use a coat of primer and two coats of paint, but normally it might just be two coats of paint. Anyways, once all that was dry, it was time to pull the paint. Now I did a little test spot right there to see if I was gonna be able to pull the tape up without bridging. What bridging is, is it's when your layer of paint or caulking or whatever it is that goes onto the tape starts to lift off all of your paint. So I found out right away that that was gonna be really bad. So what I had to do is I had to take my knife and I had to try and carefully cut along the edge of the backsplash as well as I could. That was a little bit tricky because I couldn't see the exact edge, but it was roughly an eighth from the wall the whole way. And when the time came to actually pull the tape off, it came off really nicely with only a couple little bits, leaving little flakes that were easy to wipe out. And when it was all done and I actually took a really good look at it, it worked really well. And I've also tried rubbing it a whole bunch of times. So the paint is not coming off. It's no longer as flexible as the silicone was before. So it's not cracking and flaking off because of that. And the adhesion is more than good enough to run a cloth against the wall. I mean, I would definitely like not go to town scrubbing it. If it's your own house, you wanna be aware that, you know, when you clean the bathroom to not wipe it super hard or if you're doing it for a customer, you wanna tell them, make sure they know not to wipe super hard because there is a risk that it could wipe off 
with repeated aggressive wipings of that backsplash area. So keep that in mind, but I'm pretty happy with these results. So anyways, you guys, that's my solution for how to solve this. It's a pretty simple solution. I heard about it years ago when reading on some painting forum once, but never actually tried it until now. I'm really pleasantly surprised with the results. Again, it's a very simple concept. It's about putting something paintable on top of something unpaintable. So hopefully if you've been having that problem in your house, I hope this helps solve it. And as always, I hope your project's going really well, but I hope you're doing even better. Thanks for watching you guys. Till the next one.